What's density? Well, I got your answer right here in this video right now. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dr. J. Hey, and I'm coming back to you again with some more information for you to learn, okay? So let's talk about density, okay? So what is density? Density, all right, I'm about to give you just a point blank regular definition, mass, per unit volume, okay? That's density of the whole grand scheme of things. Now, let's break down as far as what does that actually mean, you know, mass per unit volume? Okay, so mass, right, is the measure of matter. That's essentially what mass is. So usually we think of mass like how heavy something is, okay, or something like that, which is true, but technically, right, when we say that, we're talking about weight. And weight involves gravity. But when we're talking about mass, we're not taking that in account, okay? So mass is a measure of matter. Now, Dr. J, what's matter, okay? What's the matter? <laughs> no, not like that. But matter is basically, right, matter is everything, literally everything. That's mass, which is the measurement of matter. Okay, so what about volume? Okay, volume. So, volume is the amount of space something takes up. Okay, so that's the volume at a whole grand scheme. Okay, so with that being said, if you break down density, mass per unit, volume, right? That is the amount of matter in a certain amount of space. So, we're going to have a lot of things in a certain space. So to really understand density, I'm gonna to have to show you guys really experiment to demonstrate all of this information for you, okay? I always think a visual is better to show it to you, right, than me just explaining it to you. So let's go check this out. All right, y'all, so let's check out Don't Be Scared's Unit One Lab Kit. All right, so as soon as you open up, you're going to be greeted with the unit one overview. All right, so this is going to tell you basically your key terms, your key equations, and some pro tips for you to help you with the lab as well. Um, then we also have stickers that are going to be in your box. Feel free to put that on anything that you'll like. Also, feel free to share with a friend and some family members, okay? Uh, make sure you tell everybody about don't be scared. Okay. Okay. So first up, we're looking at corn syrup. Corn syrup has a density of 1.4 grams per milliliter. And we can see it has a clear color in this container. Uh, with all of these measurements, guys, they're all one fourth cup. So every single layer you're about to see is one fourth cup. Now the next chemical is isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. The density is 0.785 grams per milliliter. Okay, once again, that's clear as well. Liquid dish soap is next with 1.06 grams per milliliter for its density. And you see that bright blue color that it has. So make sure that you guys are observing the flow as well when you move your containers now we got honey look how slow it's moving man and look at this bright color but honey is 1.42 grams per milliliter okay so pretty high density compared to the other one so far now we got pancake syrup yes compared to the other one so far now we got pancake syrup yes that's pancake syrup please don't eat it guys but that's 1.33 grams per milliliter for the density and you can see that dark color because it's so so sweet uh shout out to pancake syrup next we got vegetable oil so vegetable oils density is 0.952 grams per milliliter and you can see it's a very clear color as well all right so after we look through all those containers uh we also have six pipe picks for you guys to use stir with right or different things like that there are 30 milliliters so you got plenty of things to do with those as well um, we have three cups 
three cuts for you guys to do different experiments with. So basically, uh, you can see which liquids will sink or float. So make sure that you guys do tons of experiments, all right? And then lastly is your keepsake. So this is what you're going to keep and show to everybody, man. Uh, so basically, this is what you're going to put your liquids in at the very end of all of your experiments. So make sure that you take a picture of that too. Share that with some people, man. Share that with some people. Now, at the very bottom is where you're going to see your lab procedure okay so this is where all your materials and everything so you'll see with it and um, all the various questions and assessments that come along and that is our unit one don't be scared lab kit what i have here right we have actually uh the container that we're going to use um for a keepsake basically so if you get the kit make sure that you uh make a little keepsake all right so uh if you haven't done so already oh man make sure to play around with our different liquids man before you make your keepsake really do some spirit what it's going to look like in a cool little uh layer okay so um first up i'm going to put my honey in here so i'm going to put my honey got my honey in here okay so all we're doing is i'm about to pour that in to my tube here so you guys can pour like all your layers if you want to you could pour the whole thing in there it's totally up to you guys some of it in there okay so a couple different things guys be careful as far as pouring it on the side if you pour it on the side that could definitely contaminate your overall it's pretty hard no it's not no it's not you guys do it i believe in guys so anywho got the honey in Okay, so I got my honey in there. All right, what's next? I want to probably, let me put in my pancake syrup. All right, so I'm gonna put in my pancake syrup and my keepsake, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put my honey first, and then I put my syrup second, you know what I'm saying? Right now, you could definitely see the two distinct layers between the two. So we see that, um, Honey on the bottom, pancake syrup on the second layer there. Now what I'm about to mix is my corn syrup in there, okay? So I got two layers going for me right now. Let's see how many layers I can get. And then what I like to do guys is just Tap it a couple of times, you know, really get those layers to start forming. Sometimes they, once you pour in too much, they kind of mix in. So just tap on it, let it just form, let it sit there, you know, let it sit there a couple minutes. Don't be scared. Loud pro tip. Always, always, you know what I'm saying? Keep all of your chemicals equipment always on the lab bench no matter you know what i'm saying if you're at home or in the lab it's just good lab practice so always remember that guys hey if you haven't done so already make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button below and also give this video a like if you definitely learned something from it okay i appreciate you make sure that you're learning something and let's get back to this information. I'm going to get my vegetable oil. Um, so once again, let's see what the vegetable oil is. Right now I got my three layers. Uh, we can see that it's different, right? Uh, because I added a, a more corn syrup, less pancake, and a decent amount of honey. So different layers going on. Yo, this is pretty cool, low key. All right, so now let's look at the vegetable oil. So I got my vegetable oil. Um, once again okay so not doing it all like I keep saying not doing it all because I'm just gonna keep it for later potentially especially if you guys want to do some more experiment got my look at that four layers deep in there man so I got a had a lot of vegetable oil had a lot of vegetable oil now matter of fact I feel like I got too much vegetable oil um, so I, I don't like that. Great thing about this is, bam, we got the little pipettes going on here, man. So you 
can put it back into your vegetable oil. Um, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, if you see like, oh yeah, that's definitely, it's not mixing right. Don't put it back in the vegetable oil, just put it back in a container or just, uh, you can actually dispose of it. So in this case, this one looks a little, I'm just showing you guys what you could possibly be able to do. So yeah, you could also just pour it in here, uh, then throw it down the sink, right? Throw it down the drain, throw it down the toilet. If your mama would be like, hey, get that out of here. Now it's further down. And once again, man, we see those distinct layers popping off right there. Y'all see that? Distinct layers, distinct. And my little keepsake here. All right, guys, so you guys get the drift basically, right? Keep adding layers, okay? So as you guys add layers, um, you're going to see the more dense liquids go towards the bottom and then the least dense, right? They're floating. And that's how we're able to tell the difference between the two. Now, you guys are free to use water or milk to add to your overall experiment. That's what I did here. And if we look at our final and my final keepsake, you see how cool it looks at the very end. Look at these distinct layers from the milk, from the liquid soap to the honey. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different layers here. So feel free to experiment guys and have fun with this. Really have some fun. All right, make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit that notification as well. And if you definitely learned something from the video, hit a like, just hit it real fast. Just hit that. There you go. Thank you for the like. All right, and remember, don't be scared to learn some new things.